Good afternoon. I'm Jeff. I'm at Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1365 West 3rd Street here in Halsey. We're going through the toilet in the house. We just tied onto the main line the crawl space. We've got 4 inch ABS and now cast iron. And we have water running. Here we go. Line transitions here at 8 feet. Uh, this, again, when we started the camera up, that's right as the line exits the foundation of the house. It's going off the right side of the home, right underneath the, uh, I think it's the heat pump out there. Uh, anyway, line transitions here from 4-inch cast iron over to 4-inch 3034 PVC pipe. All right, here at 84 feet, we have reached the terminus of the line. I'm going to do locates real quick to verify where this is at. And then we'll let the line drain out here for a couple minutes.
There's the toilet flush going past the camera there. We've got really good water velocity out to the mains. Everything's flushing through there well. Alrighty. Um, I picked up on a signal um, over by the neighbor's house, the house to the right of this one. Uh, but I'm getting a, a similar signal in an exact line. It looks like the power lines are interfering with my locator. So anyway, I'll have to pull back here a little bit and try and get a, a different idea of where it's going. You may have to contact the city. If the power lines are, are <clears throat> interfering that much, I may not be able to locate uh, where it ends up at. Alright, I was finally able to pick up an accurate signal here. The line is actually going to the rear of the property. Uh, it exits out the right side of the home and then heads straight back. Right now, it's it's just beyond some uh, where, where the planter row starts. Uh, a couple feet past that, going towards the rear property line. So it would appear it's on. It's connecting to some kind of easement back there at the uh, edge of the property. And I'm gonna locate this spot here where it looks like we may have some kind of you know, it looks like we may have something that's kind of this is a really hard spot to see here it looks like we have separation in the joint or possibly a break it's a you know what that looks like a big gaping hole there in the pipe it really does it's it's really hard to tell because of how black it is up in there to get any depth perception, but that does look like we have an opening there in the pipe. I'm going to go locate this. Okay, I did locate this particular spot here. Um, it's just straight out from the uh, right where the play structure is, about three, four feet before the planter rows start. Uh, when you get a good look right here and look up into that dark space, you can see it, what looks like possibly dirt and gravel. So this does appear to be open to the ground here. Again, it's a hard view to get but it does appear to be open so i do recommend repairing that and it's about one foot seven inches deep very shallow In this spot here is also next to the play structure, about one foot seven inches deep. They're both marked with white X's. I do recommend repairs to correct them. The two breaches in the line here. Oh, but at this time, they are not affecting the flow. Everything's getting past this point just fine. The two issues we found here are affecting the top of the pipe currently and not the flow line.
They're just about to really camera out of the line. Um, I, I do recommend repairs at 31 feet and uh, 21 feet to correct the breaches in the line. Again, at this time we have good flow to the main or the easement. Um, the apart from the uh, two damaged spots, the rest of the line is in good condition and it is currently functioning properly at this time. Um, those breaches in the line could end up leading to roots and things like that in time, so I wouldn't fix them.